In this example, I have a list of eight people's names and the respective number of tokens that these people have earned at a arcade facility. And we want to determine who came in first, second, and third, but we want to do that without filtering this data. And we can do that by using the large function. And let's go ahead and just write first, second, and third. And then open up the function with the equal sign and start with large. And then from here, we want to select the array of numbers we want considered. And then we hit comma and it asks for K, which is basically the position we want. And we want, in this case, the first position or first place. So we select one and close the parentheses and hit enter. If we want to look for second and third, we do the same thing, except as you would imagine, we change the one to two and three respectively. And I'll do that here. And since we have a small data set, we can just simply look over here and tell that 100 is the largest number, 62 is the next largest, and 35 is the third largest. So we have achieved the correct order of tokens here. Now you notice that we hard keyed 1, 2, and 3 into our large function. You can, however, reference a cell instead of hard keying that. And to show you an example of that, let's go ahead and write 1, 2, and 3 as opposed to 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, and then start our large function again. And oops, select the array here, and I'm going to hit F4 and lock it in place so that I can drag it down, and kick over to E2 to reference the 1, close the parentheses, and drag this down and we see E3 and E4 are referenced and we get the same answer. And I have done an index match um, tutorial in another video which I will link in the show notes but to show you who earned these tokens we will do that with the index match. Uh, let's just call it individual and let's go index we want to index the names lock them in place and the row number will be what we achieve through the match function we want to look up the hundred in the number of tokens column and we want an exact match and as you'll see we get Tim Kim and Joe Tim has a hundred Kim has 62 and Joe has 35. So we have come up with a list of first, second, and third place by using the large function and the index match function, which again, I will show a tutorial video or I'll link to my tutorial video in the show notes. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.